You know what? Screw it. This one's gonna be scuffed. <laughs> I am a bit sick, I've got a very blocked nose, and there's construction work going on, like, right next door outside my window, so that's probably gonna get picked up my mic, but who cares? Hello, my little worms. I'm Day, and welcome back to Halfling Versus, the show where we put our most terrifying and vicious adversaries against one small hairy boy named Jeremy. And today we're fighting the Ula, another secret unit, as they all seem to be now, because we've just, we've run out of normal units. They're all just secret units. But yes, the Ula, who throws axes that I think freeze you like the Ice Archers effect. But that hopefully won't cause us too many problems, right? And now to unlock the unit, which I've conveniently placed Jeremy right beside where we unlock them. So we literally only just go a tiny bit forward and we're immediately unlocking it. Uh, from whatever that object is, some sort of hat. The Ula has been unlocked. I think that's the pronunciation, that's what it said on the wiki, and I did Google it to try to find the pronunciation. I was like, yes, it's something like Ula, or Ula, or Ula la 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 or Ula, Ula, oi, oi, oi. I don't know. Something something along those lines, probably. So, what does the Ula do? Well, they throw axes like this. <laughs> I don't know why, but apparently he can't hit Jeremy with standing exactly here. They miss every time, and it is amazing. I just randomly found this while testing, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know how this is working. And it's, it's so consistent, too. Just, how, how are you missing? How are you missing? I'm sure if I move at all, you'll probably just instantly hit. Let's find out. Okay, wait for that one. If we'd like, just move, like, here. Ooh, it's still went through. Ooh. Okay, what, what if we move here? Ooh, I don't know how we're surviving right now, Jeremy. How are you doing this? Not anymore. Definitely not anymore. So yeah, we don't want to get hit by those, uh, but apparently Jeremy can sometimes just ignore them, so that's helpful. So, as for our strategy discussion, uh, I think we're going to go with the old classic for this uh, winter map, uh, where we try it around this tree to get them to fall off here. And if th that doesn't work, then I guess we'll try a different map, because there's not much we can do to fight them head on. They have about 700 health, which is a bit much for someone who can insta-kill us, so I don't think that's going to work out, so let's go with this strat, which is unnamed. We need to name this strat. Every strat needs a name eventually. And now it's time to let this battle come in. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps I went a little too extreme with that. Uh, I don't think we're currently within their range. We might have to dodge an axe in a second. Okay, we're probably within range now. But we should be fine so long as they don't see us. So. Come on, bit closer, bit closer, bit closer. Just now, turn around the tree. They haven't gone off. Go back around. Try to get them to come back this way now. Have they gone? I don't see them, I think they've gone. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call that a victory! I'm trying to brainstorm ideas for a name for that like strategy that we've used a couple times. Uh, we can. Like, it can be like Isis Slippery Strat, or like the ring around the rose tree, because we're going around in circles around a tree. There's not there's not really roses involved here, but I bet it could work. If you've got any ideas, be sure to tell me in the comments below. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Ring that notification bell, it does something nice to look not. And follow me on Twitter for updates, and you'll see my thumbnails on a larger size, as well as announcement streams, whenever those happen. Ugh. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, against whatever unit that'll be. For now, goodbye everybody, and... Roll the outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved a funeral. Fit for a king.